Hello and welcome back to this new uh, series I'm doing on the application of Python for DH. So after I posted that last video, somebody on Twitter asked me if it was possible to add a new function in here that would allow us to delete an index uh, in this list. So delete an item from this list. And uh, the answer is, yeah, of course, it's, it's possible. Let's go ahead and work through that problem and, uh, and solve it in this video. So we're going to figure out a way to uh, read everything in the terminal like we did in the last video. And now we're going to add a new function for simply deleting something from this uh, list of dictionaries. So the first thing we want to do is update our options. We want uh, number three, instead of exit, be delete data. And I properly should have done something like this in the last video, add data instead of edit data. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a fourth option down here for exit, just like number three was in the last video. So we got exit. <laughs> there we go. And what we're going to do also is change this, add another elif down here, which is going to allow us to add in a fourth option, and that's going to be the break. And uh, this option number three here, we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to say delete data. And that's going to call the function that we're going to write right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right after view data, which is going to make sense in a second because we're going to want to view the data so the user can easily uh, index through every, the JSON file without seeing the JSON file. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new function called delete data. You guessed it. And we're going to simply uh, have a few different things in here. For right now, we're going to leave this blank. Uh, the first problem we need to solve is we need to allow a user to simply index through all this. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify our view data function just a little bit here. We're going to create an i object, and i is going to be equal to zero. And this is going to allow us to have an indexed number through this loop. And all we're going to do is we're going to print off a new f string up here, and this is going to be index number, and we're going to use that f string uh, squiggly brackets and simply say i. Thank you, Python 3.8, for giving us that, or 3.6. And now what we're going to do is we need to make sure that index is iterative, it iterated and changes. We're going to simply say i is equal to i plus 1. This is the Pythonic way to do it. And now what we have is we have uh, something that's going to print off for us a list of indexes. So what we're going to do down here in delete data is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to call view data. And what that's going to do is it's going to print off in the console for the user uh, all of the data that currently exists in our JSON file. So they don't have to go to it and see the JSON file. So why don't I save this right now? And we're just going to run this in the console real fast to show you what, what this looks like. So as you can see in the console, we have the same thing we saw last time, except now we see our delete something, uh, option number three and number four is exit. If we hit four, you'll see we still exit instead of three, but let's go ahead and run number three. Now, all this is going to do right now is it's simply going to uh, change essentially uh, what, what the user is seeing. We see now that we have an index, index number zero, index number one, and index number two. And these correlate to their positions in our JSON file main list over here. So let's go ahead and close that. The next thing that we need to do is we need to start working with our data so that we can allow, or the user can uh, kind of manipulate it uh, and change it. So we're going to create a new data, and this is going to be a new list. It's going to be empty. We're going to append to this list in a loop in just a second. What we're going to do is we're going to, and again, I said this in the last video, copying and pasting in your code is never a good idea. But you know what? Let's be rebels and do it anyway. And I'm doing it in this video just so you can kind of see what's happening at each stage. Like I said in the last video, you would have a, a single function in a polished program that would do this part repetitively, repetitively so that you could just call a single function. But we're going to go ahead and copy and paste. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this information and then we're going to establish a length of it. And this is going to allow the user to uh, kind of uh, see the length so that they can edit uh, I define which number they want to actually del uh, delete. This will make sense in just a second, I promise. So let's go ahead and fiddle with this. What we're going to say here is delete option, and we're going to say that's going to be equal to input, and we're going to simply say uh, select a number. Oh, open up. Sorry, I messed up there. Uh, delete this, and my mouse is messing up, delete option. 
I apologize, or delete data length, I'm sorry, is going to be equal to length, and that's gonna be equal to the length of temp, and we're gonna do minus one, and that's gonna give us a two, because we have zero, one, and two. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit that, and now we're gonna actually give the user some actual inputs they can type in. We're gonna say, which index uh, number would you like to delete? Wonderful, and we're gonna simply print off another line that is going to be, eh, we're gonna do uh, delete option, create an object, and we're gonna make that equal to an input so the user can input some data. And this is going to be an F string, once again, and we're gonna simply say uh, select a number zero, because you always start off your index with zero, two, and you guessed it, delete option, or delete uh, data length, sorry, data length. And what it's going to do is it's gonna allow for them to actually see zero, two, two, because we have zero, one, and two. And now they can pick something without worrying about, uh, worrying about looking at the JSON file. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have another I, we're gonna make that equal to zero so we can iterate in this next loop. And we're gonna do something very similar that we did uh, for up here. We're gonna say for entry and temp, and we're gonna go into a for loop. And what we are going to say is that if I is equal to uh, the integer, sorry, two equal signs, the integer of delete option. And the reason why we have to do an int is because I believe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, input by default is a string. So this will convert it to an integer. So if I is equal to the delete option, we want it to uh, simply pass. And we're gonna say I is equal to I plus one. And else we are going to say new data append. And what we want to append is entry. And then we are gonna say I is equal to I plus one. And that'll allow us to actually iterate through all this, skip the item and the uh, list that we do not want to append. In other words, the item that the user wants to delete. And then we can simply go down here and we are going to copy this bit of code here. Again, copying and pasting is never a good idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. And we're gonna simply say that. And instead of temp, we're gonna say new data. So what this is going to do is it's going to iterate across our entire list. It's going to allow for the user to select an option to delete. So it could be one, two, or three. And then what it's going to do is it's going to go through that whole list, skip the one that they want it to delete, and then write in that new list. So let's go ahead and run it and see if it works. And fingers crossed. So we can select one, we can still view the data, we can select three now, and now we have an option to delete down here. So we see zero is equal to name name, and I've never been a fan of that, so let's delete option zero, which is our index zero. You do that, and you look over here, you saw the JSON file update in real time, uh, and I'm gonna hit control Z just so we can kind of index through this again. Let's delete something else. Let's say instead I wanna delete index number two, which is Louis the Pious, and Louis the Pious, goodbye, you are gone. So that's how you can very easily create a delete uh, delete something option in this very similar updatable JSON database. Hopefully you've found this video useful and interesting. And if you have, if you have any other questions or anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter, and I'll make sure I get a video out for you. Thanks for listening, and please do like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below and visit us at pythonhumanities.com.